Masters, mistresses, the doctor requires materials in order to maintain the TARDIS and ensure continued functionality. He similarly requires carbon-based comestibles to sustain his own biological functions and existence. Master would never say this, but he requires aid beyond that supplied by this unit in order to acquire these. To aid the doctor in his various tasks and creations, this can be most effectively achieved via Patreon or Substack subscriptions, or through donations directly to PayPal, or if you desire physical goods in return for your contributions, written accounts of my travels with the Doctor are also available on Amazon. Links are in the description below. Thank you, Masters, Mistresses. Your Eminence, Milady is here. Milady, what an unexpected day! Well, am I to be invited to sit down after my long journey from England? Milady. Rumour has it you have spent some time in the company of a certain English duke. <laughs> my, how very thorough your spies are, my dear Richelieu. But I'm sure even they cannot provide you with such pearls of information as I have acquired. Mm. Maybe, Monsieur Rushford, you would be kind enough to wait outside? Your um, information concerns the affair, which sometimes is too dangerous even for me to mention. But not for me, dear Cardinal. Now come, sit here and I shall explain to you how this royal affair can be of benefit to us. And you, miserable wretches, must now leave us to our deliberations. Madame, welcome to my humble abode. Permit me to offer you this cordial. 
May it wash away the memory of that infamous scar-faced villain. But why, my friends, was so delicious a creature peering into the lighted window? And why was she attacked? You are Monsieur d'Artagnan, are you not? I am, madame. I am a Gascon and a king's musketeer. My name is Constance Bonacieux. I have the honor to be Her Majesty the Queen's seamstress. And my life is in very great danger. Can you tell me why? On account of a love affair. A love affair? Yes. Great heavens. She means the notorious affair between the Queen and the English Duke of Buckingham, which we never mention because it is too dangerous to do so. Who was in that house you spied upon? Was it the Queen's mortal enemy, Cardinal Richelieu? Sir, I can say no more. Madame, your meaning is as clear as crystal. We must inform my fellow musketeers at once. I knew you would be my champion. One moment. Who did you say you are? Constance Bonacieux. Bonacieux? Bonacieux? Don't I know that name? Very probably, monsieur. I'm your landlord. Ah! You owe me three months' rent. Ah. Consider it paid, sir. My life is more important. Spoken like a musketeer, madame. Follow me. Porthos, old boy, give us a song. Same as usual. Bravo. Here's health to the king and death to his foes. Raise up your glasses and down the wine goes. We'll stick all our cares up the cardinal's nose. Raise up your glasses and down the wine goes. Raise up your glasses and down the wine goes. Is health to the queen and be damned to her foes. Raise up your glasses and down the wine goes. We'll stick all our cares up the cardinal's nose. Raise up your glasses and down the wine goes. Raise up your glasses and down the wine goes. Natalia! <laughs> My friends, Madame Bonacieux. Madame, the king's musketeer, Athos. Madame? And this? is Porthos. Down the wine goes, eh, D'Artagnan? <laughs> Good evening, madame. Aramis, my friends, there is a matter of peril, honor, and the utmost secrecy. Peril? Honor? The utmost secrecy? He means that Cardinal Richelieu has discovered the love affair which is too dangerous to mention between our Queen Anne and the English Duke of Buckingham. The king's honor is at stake. France herself is in danger. And the honor of the queen is also endangered. What, my friends, did I tell you? Will we answer the call of king, country, and this beautiful lady? Answer, one for all, <coughs> and, and all for one. Majesty's Chancellor. Sire, may I beg you to read this letter? Who, who wrote it? Her Majesty the Queen. My wife? Hmm. Hmm. He seeks to convince me that the Queen is in love with this Buckingham person, which if it were true, would be too dangerous even for me to mention. 
<laughs> well, what of it? The Queen writes to her father, the Emperor of Austria. Pray, continue, sire, until you reach the postscriptum. Uh, the what? The P.S. At the bottom, sire. Ah! <laughs> Common persons like you should not even watch a meeting between the King of France and his Cardinal. Mm, what? Sire, I did not speak. There's nothing wrong with this. Her Majesty asks her father, the Emperor, to use his influence to end my career. Of course she does. She hates you as much as you hate her. She wants England and Spain to invade France. What, what, what do you expect me to do? Sir, do you not propose to give her a fate on the 3rd of October? A fate? Yes. What's that got to do with England and Spain? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all one of his cunning plots. Your Majesty spoke? Yes, I, I mean no. Do not forget, sire, the evening before the fate to tell the Queen that you should like to see how her new diamond studs become her. D diamond studs? It's a punning plot, isn't it? Your Majesty? Uh, a cunning plot. Sire, I am Chancellor. Would I intrigue against my king? Uh, hmm. Can I trust him? Hmm? That's the third time he's mentioned those diamond studs. Well, is he trying to insinuate something? Well... Speak up if you've got an opinion. I can't hear you. I hope you realize that this is why we kings deserve all the crown jewels and rich pastries we can get. Because we are very solitary. Madame Bonacieux, <laughs> my dear. Louis, you seem agitated. A a agitated? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> How can you possibly say that I'm agitated? We well, you know very well that I'm as cute as a cucumber. Oh, dear. Why can't he be tall, dark, and word perfect like my Duke of Buckingham? Mm -hmm. uh, what? Nothing. Did she utter the words, Buke of Duckingham? Madame, there will shortly be a fate at which I would... at which I wish you to appear in ceremonial dress and uh, with the diamond studs that I gave you for your birthday. My diamond studs? Your diamond studs. on all sides. Madame, upon my soul, I am ready to die for your majesty. <gasps> Those studs which the king speaks of, I gave them to the Duke of Buckingham. <gasps> Madame! <laughs> I am lost. My honor and my life are lost. We must have those studs back again. But how? Someone must be sent to the Duke. Can I trust? Trust me, madame. I will find a messenger.
To save the Queen's honour? To protect His Majesty? For the glory of France? To spite the Cardinal? Shh! Who's out there? Ah, oh, it's only Minou. Good gentlemen, say I can rely on you. One for all, and all for one. Huzzah! We leave at once for England! Your Eminence. What about them? They have set off for England, Your Eminence, on a mission for the Queen. What? Stop them! They must be stopped at all costs! There's four more horsemen so early in the day. Something must be afoot. One word from you that I am Cardinal Richelieu's man, and I'll cut your throats. Morning, gentlemen. Breakfast? With wine, landlord. With wine. Good old Porthos. <laughs> Good old boy. Fine weather, sir. Have you ridden hard? Me, very hard. You, sir, will you drink to the health of the Cardinal? Me, sir? You, sir. I will, sir. Will you drink with me to the health of the King? I have no King, sir, except the Cardinal. Sir, you must be drunk. Sir, you insult me. Oh, a fight! It was a trap, Porthos, and you fell in. Could one of his bulk avoid it? On guard. Kill the fellow quickly and join us as soon as you can. On guard! <laughs> God be with you, fine Porthos. Gentlemen, we must away. enough, but let's be on our guard. Fellow, overseer, clear the road. Mm. 
It's an ambush! Let none escape, lads! Ah. One for all, and all for one! They're dead in the way! Shoot them! Quickly! Poor gentleman. But don't you worry, sir. I'll look after him. This is for a doctor and yourself. Oh, God bless you, sir. The question is, can the two of them reach Amiens by nightfall? The question is, can we reach Amiens by nightfall? By nightfall? We must! It's them. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. And my word, what a good evening it is, sir. Would you like a night's lodging, sir? We would. And stabling. Stabling, sir? Precisely. D'Artagnan, ride! I'm taken! Get them both! Do you sail to England? We do, sir. Can you take me? Oh, nothing easier, sir, but no one's allowed to cross without written permission from the Cardinal. Curses! I have the permission. Here it is. Oh, you must have it countersigned by the harbour master over there. Oh, very well. Uh, monsieur, you appear to be in great haste. No one more so, monsieur. Then I am sorry, for I must ask of you a favour. Sir. I want that order you carry, since I lack one of my own. My brave young man, I, I do believe you're D'Artagnan. At your service. On guard!
Lord of Buckingham. Who are you? Sir, my name is D'Artagnan. I bring this letter from France. Come in, sir. Tell the queen of your country and of my heart what you have seen. Our queen requires her diamonds. Her will be done like that of God in all things. He gets. My lord, all is lost. Two studs are missing. Missing? How? This is the work of the cardinal and of that woman whose name I will not mention. My lord, you don't mean... Don't speak her name. My lord, we must have new studs made. Impossible. It must be done, my lord, and quickly. We have only three days until the royal fete. been dueling again, Athos. An affair of honor, your majesty. Uh, not you as well, Aramis. An accident with a gun, your majesty. With a gun? Oh, goodness me. <sighs> accident or affair of honor? Nothing so splendid, your majesty. A free fight. A fry fee? Yes, sire. Against a tavern bully, sire. You had too much weight for him, I suppose, huh? <laughs> May a humble servant make your majesty a gift? <laughs> Diamonds? What does this mean? If the queen is wearing her twelve studs, sir, and there are only ten, ask her who stole the two we have here. Would not such a question be very, very dangerous? <gasps> What's this? Your Majesty, it is the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> My dear. Your Majesty. Wearing your diamond studs, I see. Yes, sire. All twelve of them. What? How? <laughs> Splendid. Splendid. So, <clears throat> now we have, um, uh, fourteen. Eh, Richelieu? <laughs> With your majesty's gracious permission. Your eminence does me such honor. Um, uh, never mind that now. Now, um, where are the topper sables? Sables, dearest? Just what I said, Anne. Supper. Later, my dear. The royal ballet is about to begin. Ah, ah yes. <coughs> Bring on the royal relay prances. Oh, really, Louis? Thank you. 
Bonner has been saved. The problem now is that the Duke of Buckingham wants to invade France, kick out the Cardinal and Lynn Curry. <laughs> I mean, King Louis, and marry the Queen himself. Which of these do you think she'd be happier with? I mean, the Duke's very handsome. <laughs> but the King is a King. Whatever happens, I don't think that anything bad can happen to people like me anymore. Constance Bonacieux. Yes? <gasps> Quick, get her into the coach. <laughs> Gentlemen, the fact is that she's been kidnapped. Come now, D'Artagnan, we can't prove that. But we know that it is true, and we can guess the perpetrator. You don't mean... I think he does. Of course I do. He does. He means the wicked milady who really is too dangerous to mention. I mean milady, whom I, at least, am not afraid to mention. Phew. The last time I mentioned her name in broad daylight, a big toad hopped out of my fireplace. Was he medium or well done? Me medium? Oh, <laughs> I say, Aramis, you are a wit, you know. <laughs> the question is, where is Milady? Milady, a ship awaits you. It will take you to England, where, if the Duke of Buckingham will not stop his designs against France and my person, you will create one of those events that change the destinies of nations. Your eminence means, I presume, a knife thrust. Observe, miserable wretches, that nothing is too dangerous for me to say. I mean, milady, that it is not always necessary to put a precise name to what we all know to be for the well-being of our country. I mean very little more than that your ship awaits you. Return to England. Who are you? John Felton, my lady, an officer of the King's Regiment. You must come with me, please. Am I under arrest? Yes, my lady, on the orders of the Duke of Buckingham. Ha! my friend, that these walls can ever hold me. They can hold you, milady, and will. My lord of Buckingham. Felton, this woman is young, beautiful, and possesses all earthly seductions. She is a monster who, at 25 years of age, has committed more crimes than you can imagine. Guard us against her, I command you. My lord, I swear it! <laughs> Do not imagine that poor Felton has not already fallen in love with me, because he has. You see, he is outside, sighing for me. Tonight, my plan is simple. I shall pretend to be horribly ill. Don't touch me. 
What have you done? Better death than lifelong captivity. Great heavens! Have you poisoned yourself? The Lord have pity on me. I am in love with her. If she is to die, so will I. If not, I will do whatever she commands. I cannot help myself. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Ah! I beg you to be reasonable. Hath cost me three guineas. Can you, or can you not release me and murder the Duke of Buckingham? Release you? Of course I can. I love you. I can do anything. I can do whatever I please. And whatever makes you happy. Of course I can release you. And for your love, of course, I can stab to death that infamous fire monster. The Duke of Buckingham! Well done, brave lads, well done. Our cause is just. It is one of which we can one and all be proud. When we land in France, we shall teach them a lesson, I promise you. We'll scatter their armies and we'll topple their Cardinal Richelieu, I can tell you. Forward, lads! There's a loot and pillage for all of you. Forward! Felton? Why are you here? Good heavens, man, what's happened to your hat? It was burnt, my lord. Burnt? By the power of love, my lord. Love? Who knows that power better than I, Felton? And yet, are you sure? I mean, was it spontaneous combustion, or do you greet me with some insolence? Yes, Lord Villain, a very happy insolence. Felton, halt! Help me! Felton, I... Ah! My lady is here. She has a safe conduct. We will sail to France and live happily ever after. My love, are you happy now? Can we set sail? That is the man who killed the Duke of Buckingham. Seize him! Execute him! Milady! Oh! Oh! Oh, useless, stupid fool. But then, most Englishmen are, you know. <laughs> Our situation is, gentlemen, that as defenders of the Queen's honour, we know that the Duke of Buckingham was murdered for spite by the Cardinal's agent, Milady. We, the King's Musketeers, know also that Buckingham was assassinated to save France from his invasion. We are soldiers. We let others unravel these complications. What concerns us is the fate of the innocent. In this case, Madame Bonacieux. Gentlemen, Scarface Rochefort was seen this morning. This morning? He rides to meet Milady at Bethune. Bethune? Find Milady, and we find Constance Bonacieux. But we've been ordered to join the King's army in the opposite direction. Nothing will stop me. I ride for Bethune. One for all, gentlemen. And, and all, all for one. Huzzah! Hush, my child, hush. You have been very ill. Your mind has been in very great danger. <laughs> I've been kept against my will. Hush now, child. There is good news for you. Your benefactor is here. Who is my benefactor and where am I? Milady de Winter is your benefactor. And you are safe here in the convent of Bethune. Milady, de... how can these holy women be so deceived? But then, are not beautiful liars believed in life, as well as in stories like this? Are you well enough to see her? <laughs> of course, but she wishes to take you away from us. Oh? 
I will ask her to come in. To take me away? Why? How can this be? Madame Bonacieux. Milady de Winter? <laughs> My plans are accomplished. Buckingham is dead. <gasps> no! <gasps> what? Do you faint? I must give you a cordial. This is not the revenge I had intended, but it will suffice. Here, drink this, my dear. What is it? Drink it. Thank you. Hurry, milady. We must leave at once. They are approaching the convent. So, they are in sight already. They? Who? Only four men who will arrive too late. We must go through the cloisters. But the sister said that I was to go away too. Yes, indeed. Yours is the longest journey. The longest journey? What can she... Have no fear. I am D'Artagnan, and this foul deed will be revenged. Who is this fellow in the mask? Athos warned us not to ask. Sometimes I wonder if I'm taken seriously. You know that feeling. We'll see soon enough, good friend. having poisoned Constance Bonacieux. I accuse this woman of having procured the murder of the Duke of Buckingham. I know her crimes. I married this woman when she was a young girl. What? Good Lord. It's true, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> what? No flames, my lady. No black arts remaining. Look upon her shoulder. You will see the brand of the common criminal. Oh, surely not. It was done by witchcraft. By my enemies. You lie. It was done by me, the executioner of Lil. Heaven help me. I am done for. Milady, your crimes have wearied men on earth and God in heaven. You are condemned and you shall die.
Poor, sweet Constance. That my own wife could perpetrate such evil. And the Cardinal Richelieu. What a tangled web he weaves. But honor has been saved, my brave comrades. Ah, yes, indeed. Honor. Evil has been vanquished. Huzzah! Huzzah!